Reports have emerged that Algeria has backed out from a potential deal to buy Russian Su-35 fighter jets. Earlier reports in Russian media indicated that negotiations were at an advanced stage. Among the official reasons for this refusal is that Algeria plans to strengthen its air force in other ways, which include the retrofitting of its current fleet of Su-30 MKA fighters with AL-41 engine and Irbis-E radar, as well as the possible purchase of a Russian Su-57. But the main reason for this deal to be abandoned is the absence of AESA, or Active Electronically Scanned Array, radar. It's noted that Algeria's requirements for air superiority include the integration of AESA radar which Russia has not yet integrated into any fighter operating in the squadron. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Algeria's refusal to buy Su-35 due to the absence of AESA radar is a wake-up call for Russia. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. The Sukhoi Su-35 is the top Russian air superiority fighter in service today and represents the pinnacle of fourth generation jet fighter design. It will remain so until Russia succeeds in bringing its fifth generation Su-57 stealth fighter into serial production. The Su-35 is an evolution of the Su-27 flanker, a late Cold War design intended to match the F-15 in concept. In January 2016, Russia made the first combat deployment of the Su-35 when it sent a fleet of four aircraft to Syria. Since Sukhoi Su-57 is still not operationally deployed yet, Su-35 is considered to be the premier fighter jet in the Russian inventory. Compared to the Su-27 design from which it was derived, the front fuselage diameter of the Su-35 has been increased to accommodate the larger 900mm diameter antenna of the Airbus-E radar. Airbus E, also known as Snow Leopard, is a multi-mode, hybrid passive, electronically scanned array radar system developed by Tico Mira NIIP specifically for the Su-35 fighter aircraft. NIIP developed the Airbus E radar from the N011M BARS radar system. A passive electronically scanned array, or PESA, also known as passive phased array, is an antenna in which the beams of radio waves can be electronically steered to point in different directions. The largest use of phased arrays is in radars, and these radars are known as PESA radar. In PESA radar, all the antenna elements are connected to a single transmitter, such as a magnetron, a klystron, or a traveling wave tube and or receiver. In the AESA, each antenna element is connected to a small, solid-state transmit and receive module TRM, under the control of a computer, which performs the functions of a transmitter and or receiver for the antenna. AESA is a more advanced, sophisticated, versatile, second-generation version 
of the original PESA phased array technology. PESAs can only emit a single beam of radio waves at a single frequency at a time. The PESA must utilize a Butler matrix if multiple beams are required. While PESA radar systems may be able to scan larger sections faster, AESA scans more precisely. The AESA can radiate multiple beams of radio waves at multiple frequencies simultaneously and brings back more valuable information to its user. AESA radars can spread their signal emissions across a wider range of frequencies, which makes them more difficult to detect over background noise, allowing ships and aircraft to radiate powerful radar signals while still remaining stealthy, as well as being more resistant to jamming. AESA radar in a fighter jet is not new. The F-22 Raptor, which was designed in the 1990s and introduced in 2005, is fitted with such a radar. The AN-APG-77 radar features a low observable, active aperture, electronically scanned array that can track multiple targets under any weather conditions. It has a range of around 400 kilometers or around 250 miles against a one square meter target. This radar can also be used for electronic attack by focusing its signals on the enemy to overload their sensors. The radar changes frequencies more than 1,000 times per second to resist jamming and has a low probability of intercept. Similarly, the F-35 has an AESA radar. Also, most frontline Western fighters, Dassault Rafale and Eurofighter Typhoon, have AESA radar. In modern-day air combat, having proper situational awareness provides a definitive combat edge, and a lot depends on the ability to see first. Radars are like eyes for an aircraft and hence are a key component. Evidently, Russia is a generation behind in this, and it could be an Achilles heel in a combat scenario. Not only this, there is another aspect to this. Russia is the world's second largest arms exporter, and weapon sales are one of the major avenues for foreign revenue inflows. This development is not only an embarrassment for the Russian military industry, but could adversely impact deals that are already in the pipeline. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.